We need to talk, folks, about Xavier Becerra. And I may be butchering his name. But this is the guy that Joe Biden wants to be the Health and Human Services Secretary. Xavier Becerra is the Attorney General in California. He is prosecuting uh, pro-lifers for exposing Planned Parenthood's uh, harvesting of fetal tissue and selling it. Becerra is the California Attorney General who attempted to force uh, pro-life crisis pregnancy centers to advertise abortion services and abortion providers. He is militantly pro-abortion. And Joe Biden wants to put him in as Health and Human Services Secretary. Becerra has targeted conservatives, conservative organizations, Christian groups, churches, pro-life organizations, uh, ruthlessly in California. And Joe Biden wants to put him in charge of writing health and human services regulations where he could harass nuns and churches and others on behalf of the abortion industry. If Georgia hands the Senate to the Democrats, they will walk away with it. They will put him there. There will be nothing we can do. At least Leffler and Purdue would vote against this guy. Not all the Republicans would. Maybe enough would. Hopefully enough would to block this guy. Uh, the Republicans can be a moderating influence on Joe Biden. But right now, it's up in the air. We need this Senate. And it's going to be on Georgians to do it. Georgia is all that stands between the nation and a socialist agenda. I want to explain to you the things that the Democrats would like to do in a reconciliation package. A reconciliation package is a package that cannot be filibustered under the current rules of the Senate. So even if the Democrats don't have the votes to scrap the filibuster altogether, they can package stuff in reconciliation. Let me explain to you what the Democrats could put into a reconciliation package. They could get rid of Donald Trump's tax cuts. They could impose a carbon tax on you. They could impose a gun tax on you. They can do all sorts of fiscal maneuvering around the Senate Republicans and the filibuster in one comprehensive reconciliation package. The Democrats are actually considering a gun tax. The Democrats actually are considering $200 per gun, forcing you to register your guns, and a $200 tax on each magazine that holds more than 10 rounds. That would, wait, I'm sorry. It looks like $500, 500, not 200. I got that wrong. Uh, thank you. Um, drive up the cost of gun ownership. The Democrats are looking at all sorts of taxes they could impose as regulatory fees and others and, and do an in-run around reconciliation. And as long as they keep the Democrats united, if the Republicans don't have the Senate, they can do it. 